China has poured billions into Africa's infrastructure. Is it now tightening the tap? The inauguration of two new electricity generating units in Zimbabwe's Wang Power Station last month was not an unfamiliar scene when it comes to major infrastructure projects in Africa. There, in a rural corner of the southern African nation, government officials and the Chinese ambassador gathered to ribbon cut and laud the expansion of the coal fired plant meant to reduce power cuts in the country, and Beijing's role in funding it, the project, backed by. Roughly $1 billion in Chinese loans years before Beijing stopped funding new coal-powered projects overseas, is one of the continent's numerous big-ticket projects bankrolled by Chinese lenders under leader Xi Jinping's Hallmark Belt and Road Initiative. The impact of those funds is felt across Africa, where residents in major cities like Lagos, Nairobi and Addis Ababa now transit daily via railways, highways and airports built in recent years with Chinese loans and often by Chinese construction firms. Now, as the global infrastructure building spree enters its second decade there are questions about how Beijing will choose to direct the initiative in the years ahead, and whether it will downsize funding amid new challenges and signs of a recalibration debt repayment issues amid global economic headwinds from the COVID-19 pandemic and the war in Ukraine, Beijing's own bubbling financial woes and a need to better address environmental issues are among new pressures on how China lends and countries borrow. Some data suggest a shift is already underway, with researchers from the Boston University Global Development Policy Center in the U.S. tracking what they say is a steady decline in new loan commitments from Chinese entities to African government borrowers that deepened in the past two years. Those new loans fell from a peak of $28.5 billion in 2016 down to just under $1 billion last year, the second consecutive year the 